friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin, and welcome to the soft reboot of the Jim Pickens Cinematic Universe. Probably uh, questioning what the hell is going on if you've never seen my videos before, but that's okay. That kind of question never really ends on my channel. But we're playing the new uh, Sims 4 expansion, which is um, Eco Living, I believe. I should really know that before I start these videos, but oh well. Thank you to the Sims team who DM'd me a code for this uh, a little bit early, allowing me to get this out when the, the game releases, or maybe even a little bit before. If we can really uh, you can knuckle down and get some work done. But uh, yeah, here we are. Jim Pickens and Turg are moving off the grid in this very polluted neighborhood, you know, side effect from the bombing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna see what this pack has to offer. Okay, so this household is off the utility grid. Objects that require power water will not work unless those blah 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 blah. Can't, oh, that's fine, I'll figure it out. <laughs> this is so unusual for The Sims. It feels like I'm playing a mod or something. Oh, there's ladders. That's awesome. Now I can make like super deep dungeons where people can be trapped. But I'm living in some shipping containers down by the docks, and I have like little to no money. The world has reset. God, he's a bit of a fashion icon now, isn't he? This is to change his bear outfit because I'm getting sick of seeing him walking around as a bear and losing him. What the hell is this? <laughs> Why is this an outfit? All right, he's all dressed up now in his winter wear. I got all his outfits sorted, and of course, Turg is already sorted as is. Shout out to the person who made this as well. It's amazing. Okay. There is some dirt under here. <laughs> okay, I've got a slight garden. That, that's good news. I was a bit worried about that. But the thing is, we have little to no money to actually get power, so I'm gonna have to get a job to afford solar panels or something. Jesus, you lunatic. You almost knocked him over. Are you her neighbor? I like how he's not overwhelmed at all by the fact this man <laughs> looks like this. <laughs> Look, Jim has never done plastic surgery before. He didn't know exactly what to do. I think he did a grand job. All right, time for both of you to find a job and make yourselves useful. All right, Jim, I think it's time for you to go back into organized crime. Oh, he doesn't like the look of that. He usually likes working for himself. Turg, uh, actor might not be the best for you. <laughs> Unless you want to be like the monster from the swamp. Turg is going to be a freelancer. He's a bit of a free spirit, I think. Um, he's going to be a crafter. There's only one gig I can select. This person's like, you know how to make rugs and I've got simoleons. Maybe we can help each other out. I don't know why they think I can make rugs, but I'll try. <laughs> I don't even know who the client is. Use a computer to chat with him. I don't own a computer. This might be the worst job I could have picked. All right, you know what? We're gonna go explore the neighborhood. There's a community space out there and it, it's not like totally polluted. Let's go out that way. I don't want free earbuds. Speak for yourself. I'll take free earbuds. I'll take anything if it's free. All right, what do we got here? It's snowing. Okay, the, the climate's definitely a bit fecky. Check neighborhood action plans. What does Jim want to vote for? There's a vote? It's democracy? What? We're not used to this. Unfortunately, it looks like eco friendly appliances uh, is gonna win. Uh, I wanted to vote for rough housing encouragement. I might have to um, get rid of some uh, neighbors <laughs> so that I have more influence over the vote. My vote will matter more. Wait, what the hell? No, let me go. I, I want that. Oh, you better not find anything good. Is that a recycling machine? Uh, Jesus Christ, I feel like I'm playing a different game. <laughs> so much has changed. 
Oh, Turk is going in next. Find me something nice, Turk. We really need some money if you can... Okay, he's just... He's just falling in. Oh, he's napping. Okay. All right. Thanks, Turk. I like how the whole dumpster is swelling. What is his breathing? Like... <gasps> um, okay. There's some performance art going on. Uh, Jim doesn't like this place. We're leaving. Oh, look at that. There's a bag. That's so dramatic. Hello, we're new in town. All right, now that he's introduced himself and he's completely irresistible due to his amazing fashion choices, let's go woohoo in that dumpster over there. There you go, bye-bye. Oh my god, look at that! He is suave in the new world. Oh, she might be dead. Oh no, she's fine. Also, that's not just a woohoo, that's a try for a baby. <laughs> We're already trying to expand his pool in the new world. <laughs> look, he lost all his other ones, alright? True, his own fault, but still. Turk's still just making small talk like... So, um, uh, you know, weather's really nice, isn't it? It's not bad. <laughs> the dumpster's gone nuts in the background. Oh, they've fallen out. Okay. Wait, why does he look so pissed off? Oh, okay. I didn't realize that you two were um, together. But look, sometimes a baby can bring couples closer together. So just to be sure, we'll try again. <laughs> <laughs> He's not very happy. You two can bond over Jim Pickens' baby. You can take care of him. Turk is like, oh, look over there. <laughs> Trying to make him feel better. <laughs> Turk, you're gonna have to cheer him up somehow. There you go, Turk. Good job. You cheered him up. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Break out the candles. Make it romantic. Meanwhile, they're in a feckin' dumpster. Okay. I knew there was a spark between those two. <laughs> <laughs> Jim is just fucking laughing. This poor person just showed up and they're walking into a very strange situation. Uh, I'm sorry guys, I know I'm new to the neighborhood, but I got a bit of a collection, so uh, all right, thanks. I'm gonna leave. I want to go visit this family. They've got like a crane. Imagine you could like lift stuff. Bring Turk and uh, this random child. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> The hell is that? Oh, okay. He's hungry and he's choking because, you know, smoke bombs and all that, that stuff. The hell is this? Oh, it's a barbecue. Okay, I thought it was something a bit more mysterious. Um, hold on. Recover. Okay, what the hell is this? <laughs> God, look at this crane. That is so cool. Oh, there's a fire started. Why do bad things follow us? Like, that wasn't me. <laughs> Turk is just panicking. He doesn't understand fire yet. <laughs> Jim Pickens is like, and that child is the way the world works. That's gonna happen to you one day. When you grow up, I'm probably gonna kill you too. Jim Pickens literally just does not care <laughs> about this whole situation. He's hugging that child, which it looks kind of sweet, like it looks quite endearing, but at the same time, he's a, a stranger in a, like, a almost trench coat, <laughs> hanging out by the docks, hugging children. It's not a good look. Is anyone gonna put her out, or are we just gonna continue to, to watch? Oh, wait, Nox discovered the fire. Good job, Nox, you're very intelligent. <laughs> well, she's dead. We just got here. <laughs> like, that. I had nothing to do with that, legit. The hot dogs were just too hot this time. Jim Pickens is running away from the scene of the crime. That's not a good look either. Oh, we're climbing the crane. Oh, Jesus. The Grim Reaper is probably going to be like, well, may as well wait. <laughs> but no, he's just exploring. I love how I have a plus-sized Grim Reaper. <laughs> I don't know how to get inside here. Is it locked? I can't, I can't get in the crane. <laughs> I'm just kind of stuck here, hiding out on top of a crane. Oh, wait, he got in. He got in. He's, he's singing a little song. He's doing a little performance. What is this? Load ingredients. Yes. <laughs> Start loading ingredients. Everything you have made before has been delicious. <laughs> Hardly anyone has died. I only have dragon fruit. All right, put in a load of dragon fruit, whatever that does. Now start fizzing. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be dangerous. Like, two people have already died. I could use that gravestone if you don't mind. I'll take that. New Year's Eve was awful, was it? Now, wait, I think I know why I can't feckin' do anything. I never actually knocked. Yeah, I, I'm not actually welcomed here. I'm just using their garden. <laughs> he walked through their house to knock and then come back in. I like it. They're like, come on in. And they're just crying in bed. All right, that is feckin' rude, all right? Wake up. Oh my god, maybe you should stand up. This is gonna give him, like, strong PTSD. After he just saw his mom burn to death. Is that happy music? <laughs> I couldn't tell. <laughs> maybe that's just their fire alarm. It plays, like, a cheery tune. Oh, there's firefighters now. Where were you, like, five minutes ago? <laughs> Someone was burning to death and you just never showed up. She's like, yep, that's a fire. <laughs> like, do something. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're so happy. A great job, you two. That's... That's great. Um, someone died over there from fire a while ago as well. Just heads up. Haspa! Haspa! 
Alpha! The Tatarik is still freaking out. He's like, it was red, it was hot, I don't understand what it was, but it was scary. I'm just gonna let him freak out. He'll discover what it is eventually. He'll figure it out. He's a smart, um, he's a patient guy. <laughs> He'll definitely figure it out. All my fizzy juices are ready. It's fizzy dragon fruit juice. Well, that's not a surprise since, you know, I, that's all I put in. What should it be called? Debt juice. Wait, get your feckin' juice. What, what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you getting pissed off? Bob Sine. Ah, oh, Bob Sine. Yes, of course. Sorry, right, Bob Sine. God, I'm gonna pissed off now too. He's talking with friends, he says, but there's no one here. I don't know if this dragon fruit is even poisonous. I'm gonna give it to this child and see what happens. Oh, the baby disappeared. All that's left is this bottle. Um, I saw her near the child. It was probably her. I'm gonna run away. Oh, that guy's up in his crane now. I wonder, is there any way I could destroy the ladder? All right, I use my magic to start a fire. I don't think it'll do anything, but <laughs> it's worth a shot. All right, Jim is now recycling something. I don't know what exactly. Ah, oh, so recycling gives you the ability to craft items and to fuel water and power utility producing objects. Oh, that's quite cool, actually. All right, well, I best be headed home. I'm just starting a few more more magical fires before I go. That should do. The firefighter's back, like, oh, dude, come on. <laughs> Turk's just like, there it is again! There's the thing! It's red, it's hot, and I don't like it! He's running through it and everything. This poor dude, his whole life was taken away from him today. Oh, what are these paintings here? They look kind of valuable. Attempt to swipe. There we go. Okay, now that we have something valuable, let's recycle that shit. There we go, this should give me lots of bits to power my house with. They turn around and he's just grinding their paintings to shit. There we go, look at all those bits. This guy, he's gonna break down into tears. But these are some good beans, right? All right, this guy's boring, I'm going home. I heard about the passing of someone special to you. I wanted to offer my condolences. Uh, wrong number. <laughs> Poor Turk has to walk home as Jim Pickens took off on that broom. Oh, wait, can I vote on these yet? Yes, I can vote. Rough housing encouragement. Yes. Very good. It's got seven votes. I need more influence points. Turk. Oh, I think he just said Turk. Wait, no, come back. You wanted a vote too. All right. <laughs> The gift of fire. Maybe I'll buy that so Turg will actually understand what it is. Insect farm. Yeah, I want one of those. Put it in the bedroom. Gonna grab us a solar panel and one of these uh, rain collectors as well. There we go. We're gonna be self-sufficient in no time. Oh my god, if she calls me one more time, I'm actually just gonna kill her. <laughs> like, I'm gonna murder her. I know you could say, Jim, look, just block her, but no, he's gonna kill her. Oh my god, he's going for his first day of work like that. He's not happy to be back working. He's used to just being provided for. Uh, meanwhile, Turg is just figuring out how ladders work. Um, I don't know what I have to do for his job. It's due by nine on Wednesday and I don't know how to craft. Oh, we could buy our own dumpster, but I don't have enough money to even buy a dumpster. I, I can't find out how to make rugs. I'm gonna buy this instead because I think it'll look nice in the garden. Build it over the solar panels. I can't even get sun. God, the backyard looks like shit already. <laughs> okay, maybe I should just go find a computer and figure out how to get this done. I'll just Google how to make rug. All I have is human hair. That is the only material I can use. I can't afford anything else. Who would have a computer? They have a fancy house. They'd probably own a computer. I'll go to them. Instead of like a library or something. I'm gonna bring the firefighters with me too. Come in. Turk Turk. <laughs> he sounds like a feckin' sim already. Uh, can you get off that? I need to use it. Chat with client. Great. <laughs> he feckin' stinks as well. He's gonna ruin their home. He gave me no information whatsoever. I, d I don't know. Use the fabricator in the hobbies and skillies section to create it. This is so complicated. Wait, that's a fabricator, isn't it? Turk, say hello. Yeah, Turk, scrap fabrication. I don't have enough resources. God damn it, this is complicated. Oh, for feck's sake, now I scrapped her thing for no reason. This child comes in, it's like, Great, mom, we get to play with this dollhouse, but who's that guy who's crying in my bed? <laughs> All right, go home, Turk. You're clearly not welcome here. I love how his social is full and everything else is horrible. Wait, who are you? Why are you just waiting outside the door while Turk sleeps? That's weird. Scott shoe. Uh-oh, an old woman just scuffed Jim's new work shoes. Confront her! Jesus Christ, they were perfect! With her walker and surprising strength, she knocks Jim onto the street in front of other dogs. Bye-bye <laughs> street cred. Oh, for feck's sake! Jim swiped an object while at work. Fantastic! What did you get me? What the hell is Fosanite? Sent to Geo Council. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's been sent to the National Sim Geological Council for elemental isolation. 
Okay, well, on that note, I'm going to go to sleep in the parking lot. <laughs> All right, well, I think we've got a lot done today, but I think we're going to end it there. I really like the look of this new pack so far. It adds a lot, and it's just changing the kind of game dynamic a lot and uh, the way I'm playing it. I think the soft reboot was a good idea as well, just starting from fresh. Jim and Turg, best of buddies. And uh, we're back to having, like, little to no money at all. And I, I think it's going to make it a bit more interesting to see where this goes. But, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I appreciate watching, folks. Uh, I'd love to hear your feedback if you've got any. Um, whether that just be a like or a dislike or a comment. Uh, if you want to see more of me, my Twitch channel is in the description. I stream, like, five times a week. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.